Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Card skimmers have popped up this month in Rapid City. These near identical plastic covers are used to steal your credit card information. Both incidents took place at the Walmart stores in town. Once discovered, authorities quickly removed the devices and began their investigation. It's usually just the plastic portions uh, on top at the gas station. Uh, what you typically see where you insert your card, uh, that will be the plastic piece that's counterfeited. This card skimmer investigation is currently ongoing as they try to track down the two suspects they have spotted on security cameras. The Roberts County Sheriff's Office is asking for the public's help in finding a wanted man. 41-year-old Cardston Squirrel Coat has two warrants for his arrest for drug crimes. He has also failed to register as a sex offender. If you have any information on where he may be, you're asked to contact the Roberts County Sheriff's Office. Authorities also ask that people do not approach him. The suspect in a 2023 kidnapping case in Clark County is now in prison. A judge has sentenced 49-year-old Jeffrey Yexley to 10 years behind bars after pleading guilty in November. The case started in January of last year when a nine-year-old girl was reported missing. Online court records show Yexley was involved in a guardianship case involving the child. The girl was missing for nearly a month before authorities arrested Yexley in Minnesota. The child was returned home safely. A registered sex offender is headed to federal prison for child pornography. Tuesday, a judge sentenced 48-year-old Kent Joy to 15 years behind bars, followed by five years of supervision. Authorities found more than 4,700 images and more than 500 illegal videos on devices in his new Underwood home. Joy was convicted of the same crime in Virginia in 2005. Now let's get a check on our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt starting the morning. Foggy, Scott. Yeah, foggy conditions again this morning. Get used to that. I think they'll stick around or at least have these mornings uh, with foggy conditions still for the next couple of days. Uh, better chance to see the sunshine as we get into this weekend and temperatures will warm along with it. 35 degrees for today in Sioux Falls, 36 in Aberdeen, 32 in Pierre. And with sunshine in western South Dakota, Rapid City will warm to 50. We'll continue with more or less these foggy mornings going through at least Friday. Uh, next week is looking warmer. More details with that with Brian coming up. Thank you, Scott. Staff at the St. Francis House are thankful for their guests after they helped the staff when two water pipes burst. The breaks happened around 10 Monday night. People were there cleaning up for around three hours. And there were, I would say, at least eight to nine firemen here. And then my staff that was on duty, myself, our board um, president came in and helped, as well as probably about 15 of the guests that just really stepped in and took charge and took direction well. The next morning, staff and guests continued to clean the bathroom and surrounding rooms that were affected. The water damaged the ceiling, computers, printers, and more. Well, you can get more than groceries at a Market on Wheels in Sioux Falls today. A pop-up flu and COVID vaccine clinic will be offered at the Eat Well Sioux Falls Mobile Market this morning. The stop will be at Southeast Tech from 1130 until 1230. Clinic is being offered by Lewis and Sanford thanks to a grant from U.S. Aging. A downtown Sioux Falls brewery is now in the pickleball business. Remedy Brewing Company has spent the past few months transforming a warehouse into three dedicated pickleball courts. Pickleball is that type of sport where you can take it really seriously or you can just really easily casually play and you don't need a lot of experience to do it. And I think that's why it goes so well with the, uh, the food and beer concept is because you don't have to be an expert to get onto the court and play. It's nice to have a nice indoor facility with outdoor surfaces, especially in the wintertime. And I know it's drawing quite a crowd. It's, it's a great surface. Um, he's late is making improvement, more improvements here. It's, it's awesome. The pickleball courts are open seven days a week. You can reserve a court for $30 per hour Monday through Wednesday or $35 per hour Thursday through Sunday. We've provided a link with complete details under this story right here on Kelloland.com.
Well, that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right, our weather picture today, dealing with some of the fog that's out there, dense fog advisory, central, north, central, South Dakota. Also, uh, the southeast dealing with that a little bit more around Sioux Falls and uh, actually right behind me here across northwest Iowa. In southwest Minnesota. Bottom line is the air mass pretty stagnant. We get a little south wind over top of that snow cover, and that's just enough to uh, continue to bring up some mist in the air and obviously some of these issues of the, the fog and the cloud cover. Bottom line on temperatures today as we bring up our latest on Futurecast, western Kettle Land. We're doing much better. We've got close to 50 today in Rapid City. Still these 30s pretty common around Pier and Chamberlain. And then winter, you know, a little bit of a, a, an edge there to watch this cloud line. I'll be curious to see how effective we are today at getting some of that to thin out. And then tonight, I would expect Sioux Falls is still socked in with the clouds and even a little bit more of that fog could be around. And tomorrow, well, it still looks like that general footprint of moisture, low level moisture is locked in east river especially and you guessed it rapid city yeah a little warmer isn't it mid to upper 40s and uh, obviously the extended forecast is going to remain much uh, warmer in western Kettleland. so today's high temperatures 35 winter 33 chamberlain kind of watching those rays of sunshine and how that cloud line waffles there between pier and phillip today i would expect tonight sioux falls remaining cloudy some fog 29 if we get any mist in the air too we always are you know, remembering how slick spots can pop up on the roads. Fog is also in the forecast, Chamberlain and Mitchell. We'll kind of hold on to that idea tomorrow. Even Brookings on the list, Watertown, Marshall. You know, everybody in the, these areas will deal with some of these patches of fog. Still, though, in the 40s tomorrow for Rapid City. Sioux Falls, not much change day to day. The highs are consistent in the low to mid 30s. And the one change this weekend, we'll kind of watch to see if we can start to drag in some clearer conditions or breaks in the clouds. The result of that is a lowering of our temperatures. The overnights might actually get a little colder. But then, well, the cycle of weather. Interesting to watch next week. That's when we start applying some additional pressure to the temperature outlook. And accordingly, we've already raised days five through seven. This is connected to Pacific Air, and it's going to gain a lot of momentum in North Dakota and Montana, where the snow cover is less. And once you start seeing that on the weather maps, this whole snow field will start shrinking on the periphery of that. So we'll kind of pick on Pier and Aberdeen a little bit more first. Obviously, Rapid City with uh, really n next to nothing or very little in some of these areas of the far west. It's really going to ramp up next week. We're going to be in the 60s. Check out details online at kettleland.com.